Hello, this is Florida Man broadcasting to you directly from Central Florida. You can see the beautiful water behind me. This canal that leads out to the uh, great uh, what the Lake Harris chain of lakes and um, another chain of lakes. I don't know. But what is the other one called? I don't know. And what qualifies me as a Florida man? Well, I live in Florida. I have been arrested four times uh, under ridiculous circumstances. Uh, they're all they're all good stories. I will tell them to you at some point. But right now, we have more pressing issues. Um. For example, I'm diagonal at the moment, <clears throat> and um, here's the thing, I've come up with the, the vaccine for the coronavirus. I will reveal that to you after... Uh, a couple, a couple of other things I need to talk about. One of them, we got all these Californians and Westerners moving out to Texas, which is our stronghold red state, and they're moving there because their blue states. Are coming unglued. You got poop in the street, needles in the street, all that. And then you're gonna move to Texas and vote Democratic? Okay, I'm a Florida man. Not originally from Florida. Nobody nobody is originally from Florida. Touching my face. <laughs> But I was raised in Georgia, spent some time in Texas. It's unfortunate I'm not in Texas anymore because if I were and I met a new neighbor who said, hey, yeah, I just moved here from California, I would say, yeah, welcome to Texas. On voting day, you either vote Republican or you stay home. Otherwise, you're going to have to move again. You idiot. So, that's my Texas complaint. Um, so, uh, let's we'll move on to coronavirus. <laughs> One thing, thing they've been saying is... Okay, maybe you're wondering what time of day it is. It's early morning. You can hear all the birds. I just finished my paper route. I make almost as much delivering newspapers because I deliver a ton of them as I did as a history teacher and a science teacher. Ooh. And, uh,. And there's no bullshit. I just pick up the papers and deliver them. Don't have to deal with any bullshit children or bullshit parents or bullshit administration. So that's what I'm doing. And um, and then I drink some beer. And then I and then I do the Florida man thing. <sighs> it's important though, cause. I'm the person that's going to solve coronavirus. I'm not, not. I'm not a doctor. Okay, I'm not a doctor. I I completed two years of medical school, but uh, I had some health issues. Touching my face again. Is the ear count his face? I don't know. Okay. Where was I? Anyway, 
they're all saying if you don't want the coronavirus don't touch your face you, you see I'm, I'm amused because it's humanly impossible to not touch your face it's hilarious all these people going on the news networks saying don't touch your face every time almost every time they touch their face while they're telling you don't touch your face it's almost seemingly impossible I got an itch right now uh -uh. so what is a vaccine a vaccine is a usually a killed virus that they inject into you that will not give you the infection but will give you the immunity to the infection because your body recognizes it right it recognizes the proteins around it or whatever and uh, so in the future if you do get the real virus your immune system will kick in and kill that virus okay so the big problem people have been having is it, it, the people who like to drink corona alright now I'm sorry for those people because they they get the full bloom full bloom virus and uh, the older you are the more the more likely you are to die of the coronavirus you know every year older you are the more likely you are to die you know 42 my age more likely to die than 32 so I've taken some preventative steps I bought a 12 pack of Corona light okay now I'm a big man as you, as you, as you can probably tell I'm pushing 285 <laughs> But, uh, you know, a normal weight person could probably buy a six pack of Corona Light. In my experience, is I, I drank that 12 pack in under two hours, probably easily. And, uh, again, yeah, look, at, look at where I live, it's beautiful. And, uh, I got the virus, but it was the light version of the virus. And, uh, you know, I've survived. I, it felt, actually, it felt like a, a mild hangover. That's all it was, one day. And now I'm immune to the coronavirus. So, that's a tip to anybody who's freaking out and buying all the toilet paper off the shelves and stuff like that. Get vaccinated. Drink the Corona Light. Okay? If, if, unless you're like 80 years old, I wouldn't recommend it. But, if you're younger... And you think you can defeat it? Drink some Corona Light, and then you'll be immune. You don't have to worry about all the travel restrictions and all that. And that is what that's the Florida Man health update. And uh, what else is I gonna talk to you guys about? We talked about Texas. 
And we talked about touching your face. I guess that's it. Good luck.